Hello family. Welcome back to Lady Tears Exotics. And today we are going to do my 30 day review of the Will Banks Incubator. Stay tuned. So, overall, right off the bat, this incubator is amazing. It is just an amazing piece of equipment. Um, one of the things I like the best about it is the fact that it looks great anywhere you put it in your home, number one. Um, the nicely tinted glass is definitely a plus. Um, having most of the controls inside is absolutely great. I'll tell y'all what my one pet peeve is. And if you guys follow me on any channel, whether it's my channel or Key's channel or any of the suspects, you know, my one issue is the light switch. So the on and off switch is inside the light switch. So someone made a great point. That wouldn't matter to big breeders and people who have produced probably like 200 clutches. But to me who, this is my first real breeding year and I look at my eggs y'all like all the time, that light switch being in the inside was the only thing that is unfavorable. But that's a personal thing for me. Take that away, this thing is a beast. What I love the most about it is Regardless of what time of day it is, this thing knows when to adjust the temps and it calibrates correctly. Um, right now it's set to 89 degrees. So if you look closely to the thermostat I have right here, you'll see that right now it's set at 89. On this shelf right here is at 88.4. This is right now. I can tell you that this just started to make some adjustments. Um, I removed the thermostat that was down here because um, I was more concerned to monitor what was up here. But at any point in the day, it's never more a never more than a degree variance anywhere in this incubator. If I move that thermostat down here, same thing. Um, its ability to adjust the temperatures according to how you have it calibrated is phenomenal. So that's one of the major pluses for me. The other major plus <clears throat> is, of course, the space. Um, for a person who will be reading on my level, I probably would never need more than this incubator and my C-Circuit. Now, had this incubator been created prior to me purchasing the C-Circuit a couple years ago, then I would have just got the one largest Wilbanks incubator, and that probably would have worked for me forever right so that's another plus so if you are a person who's purchasing an incubator for the first time and you don't think that you're ever going to be producing more than let's say 65 70 um clutches at the same time now i'm not saying throughout the year i know many of you do that but at the same time you can get that really large one and be good um for incubation uh for me because I already have a sea serpent, which is also amazing. I'm not taking any way from sea serpent. Plus, I still love that sea serpent's light switch is steel right here. Okay, well, so I can come down here and just hit the switch, C, peak, turn the light back off, and it's the LED lights all, always stay on on the Sea Serpent. It's an example of what I love about that Sea Serpent um, as well. Now the Sea Serpent incubation works great, guys. Like honestly, I can't say that it is not worth its money. The only thing that I like better, I think, is the fact that because of the build of the wheel banks, I truly believe that its ability to monitor the temps and to adjust temps accordingly is better because of the build 
However, I don't have major variances in the sea serpent often. I think that the biggest time that I notice the variances is that if there's a big temperature difference in the house all of a sudden um let's say if it's in the evening and it, let's say a storm comes through and there's a big adjustment in the ambient in the room that the sea serpent is in where i am now then the only issue i think is is that it takes longer to adjust that temperature um, within a degree of what's going on um, between the thermostat and inside this having a built-in thermostat I think makes it so much more easier for it to do what it needs to do. So overall, it's amazing. Um, again, Sea Serpent is amazing too. I just think the build of the wheel banks and its internal abilities to adjust temps is incredible. One thing I would know for anybody, I did this, so please, if you ever noticed this, just know how to fix it really quickly without calling um, the company. So, which is pretty cool guys. I had to I place the call because I didn't know what I did. This thing was working just fine. Um, I moved it and I played with the temp a little bit without resetting the calibrations. And so therefore it gave me an error. So whenever you move this, you wanna make sure that the calibration is still on point because sometimes you can move it from one room to the other and the temperature variant is different it will cause it to error um, that was my fault not the machine at all I learned from mr. Wilbanks returning the customer service call himself which was pretty cool um, and I believe he returned their call on the weekend it was a Saturday so I wasn't even expecting to hear from them until a Monday but um you simply unplug it and plug it back up and in essence what I should have done is unplugged it before I moved it even though it was a short shift that's what I should have done and I definitely should have um, let it recalibrate based on where I moved it to um, but outside of that this thing has worked perfectly um, I'll do another 30 day update just to let you guys know how it's going um, from 60 days of having it installed and running and I just love it I think it's state-of-the-art and recommend it to anyone I think it's worth its money for sure um, it's built nice easy to for me anyway because we, we're on hardwood floor it could be an issue if you try to not do it if you try to do the same thing on carpet um, but yeah um can't wait to get more eggs in here we have clutch number three and four due to drop any day now and then five will drop anytime between um let's say the end of the month and may 1st and um once what i'm going to do is after the retic eggs come out of here i'm not going to put anything else in the sea serpent the sea serpent is going to be the backup incubator and i'll start just having the wheel banks incubate everything else that i hatch out in the future and use the sea serpent for overflow or an emergency situation but it's amazing and getting you on the only other thing that i would say like there's that thing of you know do you get the expensive equipment first or do you wait until you start letting the money that you make from the clutches work for you that is a personal decision i would say that if you can afford to get your wheel banks do not short yourself on that um i've never been a person of anything that you can build and it's not the fact that they don't work we i've seen some amazing um, homemade incubators um that i would be comfortable with using but for me and my own conscience if uh, incubator fails I would rather feel I would feel a lot more comfortable that you know it wasn't something that I built myself so it's a personal decision a personal choice whatever works for you but it's great all right to the next video see you guys later peace this episode is brought to you by beat it by Sadie's Mercedes can provide you that flair we like around our waistline she can provide that in your favorite color also with your favorite reptile charm. Check out Beat It by Sadie's on Instagram and on Facebook. All Maryland Reptile Show has been the longest running Maryland reptile show in the DMV area. Thank you for bringing us quality animals for the longest time.